Ich hatte sechs Minuten pass neun. This is Highland Radio with Paul McDevitt. After uh, nine o'clock on a glorious Monday evening, you're very welcome. And of course, it is the Monday night sessions. Myself, Paul McDevitt, with you right through on till 11 p.m. on this uh, glorious Monday night. Quick look at your weather forecast: dry and humid night with clear spells, just a few patches of shallow mist. Minimum temperatures 12 to 13 degrees, and light winds or calm conditions. Tomorrow, Tuesday, well, much of the same. It's going to be a very warm day with spells of hazy sunshine. Top temperatures. 24 to 26 degrees. Not too often we say that, but anyway, uh, it'll be a little, little even fresher and cooler in coastal areas. This is due to onshore sea breezes, so just be wary of that if you're out and about. All right, busy program lined up for you tonight, and uh, I'll be talking to Gareth Pritchard, our first guest, coming up very, very shortly. And as always, my thanks to Marty Freeman. Thank you very much indeed, Marty. Marty, back again next uh, Monday night. With that, more great memories and more great music right here on Highland Radio. Our good friend Debbie Kerrigan from the uh, Debbie K Project has uh, released a brand new single and we got it uh, sent us today. Our first song tonight, have a listen to this.
my fault there. That was my fault. I had the button. Apologies. Davy Kerrigan, the Davy K project. Brilliant song. Real brilliant song. Well done indeed. And as I say once again, it was me at that. Gonna get a slap in the head now, Jimmy. That as always on this morning. I was gonna say Saturday night. Kind of mixed up today. Anyway, we welcome our first guest, and it's Gareth Pritchard. Gareth, uh, good to see you. Hey, Jim, Paul, thanks so much for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. You're, you're very well. You were up here before? You were... I think I was up here with Peel before. Ah, uh, Saturday very good. during the day. Oh, very good. Saturday morning, as far as I remember. Aye, aye. <laughs> I wouldn't know much about Saturday mornings. <laughs> but anyway, listen, <laughs> yeah, you're enjoying the good weather. Oh, it's mighty. Isn't it great stuff? Right, for anybody that doesn't know you, quick introduction, Gareth Pritchard. Well, um, uh, I'm a singer-songwriter. Aye. I've uh, been in the music business for, from I don't know, since I've been the age of... 12 or 13, my dad playing bands and just constantly on the road doing different things with different bands. I say hello to your dad too, Brian. Good to see you. Uh, uh, I couldn't see you on that TV screen there. And we've been doing the, the Irish country circuit as well. Uh, and we've been doing and other stuff. We've been doing radio interviews and recording stuff. Um, I'm also a full time joiner. As oh, well. are you? So that's what I do. Monday to Friday, and then the music of the weekend. So, what's it, man? Hey? So, so, it's all, it's all go like you know. But in, until one's making more than the other, that's when I can well, decide, to, decide to choose which one I want. Well, I'm saying that now. That I'm sure the Johnny was picked up a bit. There was a low there for a while. Well, I'm, for, I'm very fortunate to work for uh, basically the housing executive. So oh, we're, we're f- never out of work, you know. So aye, aye. Thankfully, I've, I've never been out of work this long time. Man, keeps you busy. You're all around the northwest, then. Yeah? All around, basically, all my direction. I'm, I'm mainly based because our branch is covered all us all over the place, you know. So we're really just on my base. Maybe Cookstown the odd time, Fontenay's maybe 10, 20 mile radius. Not too bad, you know. So nice Friday evening, you finish at the half four, and you're oh, sure, that's, you're, that's, you're that's home perfect. for five, you know. Aye, what do you, what do you want to leave that for? Right, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go straight into this song for it, if you yes. don't mind. And the first one up tonight, what are you going to do for us? I'm going to do a wee song that was one of my last uh, singles, which I wrote. Yes. Um, it's just a, a sexy song I actually had in my head for Robert Mazzell, but I ended up recording it and putting it out. So, wow. <laughs> so there you are. It's just one that came into my head one night and says, I'll bat there away at it. Good man. What's that? Don't bother. This one goes uh, good little something like this. And don't get me wrong, cause you got me right, you got me right, so very, very wrong. It's a mixed up, muddled up, messed up sort of a love song. I sure loved you and you sure loved me, is it so very, very hard to see? That it's a mixed up, muddled up, messed up sort of a love song. Well, you, you got mad with me this morning. I comb my hair, brush my teeth before work. You said, Well, I think it's really over. Then you put that knife where it really hurts. Don't get me wrong, cause you got me right, you got me right, so very, very wrong. It's a mixed up muddle of messed up sort of a love song. Hey, I sure love you and you sure love me. Is it so very, very Mixed up model of a messed up sort of a love song. Oh, yeah. says I need to write this down and, and you know what you want it's actually one of the first ones I've actually recorded that, that I've wrote you know I've wrote plenty of wee things but I says oh, I'll take the chance <laughs> when you were uh, writing it had you like somebody like Robert Mazzell in mind or no, no? I, I just heard Robert Mazzell or Mark Robert Mazzell's voice in my head going that big don't get uh, like yeah, a real big American thing you know uh, and then uh, I, uh, I played it brought it down to Terry McGinty does my recording in uh, Buffet 
He said, man, that's a great song, so yeah. that's we put it down and yeah, put it out, you that's know. That's a good song, aye. Yeah. It's just a fun, simple uh, song, you know. Do you, do you write much? I don't read an awful lot. If a song comes into my head, I'll put it in my phone and, like, sometimes I'll write maybe a verse and I'll come back to it yes. maybe two years later or whatever uh, it is, you know. But I think I will start writing more when I get my, my head a wee bit focused because I'll be working all day and then you've dogs to walk in the evening and now I have a baby on the way now. Oh, so. <laughs> you more so, to do than write songs. But uh, you never know, it might, bring, it might bring more songs to mind. You're walking dogs, what kind of dog? Two wee cocker spaniels. Oh, have you very Callie good. and Cooper and I, they're ah. some crack now. Some crack looking after cocker spaniels, I know that. Ah, uh, well, they're two good dogs now, in fairness. Uh, you like to get out and about. But in saying that, like, uh, you know, uh, if the notion takes you sometime, it's nice. Now, with a baby coming along, a notion, you might get a nice family baby type song or something in uh, your head. Well, you know? this, uh, funny, I was listening to a Brad Paisley song the day. Um, I can't even remember how it went now. But it was basically a child from birth to it going away and. If, if he's anything like me, he's such a great song and the lyrics. And I've sat and listened to it, and the last uh, last line is, if, what's the last line go? I can't remember, but basically, as he drives out, he cries his eyes out if he's anything like me. You know, as uh -huh. he's leaving home, he's leaving his parents, but he'll cry his eyes out. You know, was great, great you know, lyrics. Great uh -huh. the lyrics. I'm, I'm a real lyric man. I listen to all the lyrics and songs. Sometimes the tune goes away, but I'm sitting listening to the words and think mm. that's a great song. Uh, so, uh, yourself, say, growing up, as a country music? Or? Well, growing up at home, um, I suppose with my dad would have been playing around the... Dad always played a mix of everything, Eagles, um, I think from the Water Boys to Chris Gustafsson, you know, and then with, with my uncle Dan McCarron and the family, you're always sort of, not forced into listening to his music, but the CD, <laughs> the CD was always on the new album out, and we were, we, we, were at, we were at concerts and different stuff, so yeah. you're always the country, and then I was always a massive Gareth Brooks fan, I say Gareth Brooks was my, was my idol, you know, uh -huh. and then as, as years went by, I started listening to stuff that Dad would have been playing, playing as in Chris Gustafsson, and some of the Merle Haggard stuff and all as well, so um, George Jones, and then I actually got a, a chance on my new album to record with uh, the guy Billy Yates, if you've heard of him. I have, yes. Billy wrote Choices and wrote I Don't Need No Rock and Chair. And, yes. You know, he's a huge songwriter. And I, I got to meet because I toured with Colin Ray when he was over here. Oh, very and, good. And uh, Billy Yates was a special guest as well. And me and Billy just become good friends. And when I was out in Nashville, and I said, well, or sorry, before I went to Nashville, I said, you know, can we record the songs? Yeah, no problem, man. Send me the track and I'll go into the recording studio and do it. Like, wow. and, you know, when there was no money exchanged, and he was more than delighted to do it. Oh, right, that's nice, isn't it? You know, so I was... was nice feeling like I, that, was a good, You know, and these guys are out to help you, like, you know, they sent me songs, what do you think of this song? And, and I would send them songs that I've wrote, you know, see if he can oh. enhance it in any way, you know, so... Um, right, that's, and that's and even nice. meeting Colin Ray was a super lovely guy. Right. Um, like, and Colin was the same, chatting for five minutes here, man, there's my number. Right. Contact me any time you need God. me. God. Hey, and he's a big star, like, right, you know. And a lovely guy. Do you know what I was going to say? Brian, if you don't mind us bringing you in there uh, for a quick chat. <laughs> you're, this man's a, obviously the music that you played about. You're, you're in the connected to the music business a long time. I, I muddle the road sort of stuff. Um, I'd be a rock and roll man at heart. Would you? Yeah? Uh, uh, I like to rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, and, but are you playing now yourself? Or? I still play. I do one man. One man thing around the pub circuit. Aye, that's changed uh, a lot. It has over the years now from the eighties. We started off uh, September eighty five. Um I made our first gig, the cellar bar in Oma. And it was the grand total of fifteen pound for the two of us. Cash in hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen pounds between the two of us. I think we, we had a big steel and borrow equipment, you know, to do Aye. the gig. <laughs> I think it cost us money, but Aye. looking back, and the, the pubs, the pubs then were all waged. Now, different Aye. story now. Not not so many. And it's hard now. Hard to in the pubs as used to be. The That's cracks just not the same either. No, but I suppose in this stage of life now, sure that's the way it goes, and that. Well, that's, <laughs> that's the way it is. We have the good memories. <laughs> is it, uh, did you did you always play like as I say, two piece or one piece? You never two played piece, in a band, piece. or N never played the f with a full band. Uh, um, done wee bits and pieces, you know, here and there, but uh, never full played board. full time with a full band. Uh, it was always a two piece. Um, we started off with a drum machine. Two beats, fast and slow. You know, know that's <laughs> here. If only you were saying that, I had a brother and only sent me a video. <laughs> the other night we were in the Byron Wicklow. And uh, 
sent me a video and he says, Time Warp. And this boy had a drum, oh my, he must have got the drum, but that drum kit about 1979 or something because uh-huh. it's the same one. <laughs> and it was, oh, you know, like technology's changed that now, has, you know what I mean? Definitely has that. This boy was, oh, <sighs> and the brother of put it away, you know, and it, oh, it's just a drum machine. Uh, now, 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 now you like have an app for a drum machine. Was that right? Uh, God, an app on your, on your, your phone, phone. Uh, like for, <laughs> your phone for the drum machine. It was a fiver, I think. Oh, it's all changed. <laughs> two or three drum machines lying at, lying at the house cost several hundred pounds at the time. <laughs> Shows you. But anyway, back to yourself. Listen, thanks for telling us for sharing that with us. Uh, you're doing an album at the moment? Well, I have the album. I actually had the album for a while, but I've never actually released it to anybody. Um, I was just, I just never got timed it, and so I've, I've redone the cover and I've sort of spruced it up and just different, different wee things. But um, the album consists of twelve tracks. Tracks that to me, I like the songs. Like you've got the Billy Eight song choices and Someday You Love Me, um, Can You Feel It, uh, what other songs in us? Uh, Steve, Steve Warner songs and Linda and just songs that I, I like, you know. Uh-huh. And, and some of the songs, is because of the way the con- Irish country scene has went, uh, you've sort of have to branch into, well, we're going to try this poppy kind of thing. Yes. You know, which to me, it was me, but that's what the producer done at the time. He says, no, well, uh, what I recorded it and the way it came back to me was two totally different things, you know. And I, and I remember going around to mum and dad's house and I don't like this, I don't like how it sounds because this isn't me, you uh, know, but it was one of my most popular songs. There you are. You know, so... So you take the advice of somebody else, maybe, if you weren't too sure about it? Well, sometimes it's just good... When you hear someone, someone new comes back, because I was so used to hearing the way the, the song was that I recorded to start, I think someone come back completely jizzed up and oh, right. uh, it was just, <laughs> just it, it was totally different. It, it, it sure just put me back. It's like, oh, this isn't me, uh, you know, because I, I, I am a country man at heart. Like, uh-huh. you know. uh, but I suppose you needed that wee bit of confidence maybe from somebody like that to tell you. And then. Well, it's good that, that he, he sort of tried to put me a different job uh-huh. because it, it actually was... I was sort of pushed the barrier out from even what Nathan had done, you know, there was yeah. a bit of like trance and rave in this one, you know, and it, yeah. and it really did work, you know, but yeah. it was, to me, it was just a little <laughs> taken yeah, back, yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, that's, I suppose that's what it's all about. What about gigs and all? Do you, do you gig much? I'm gigging away. Um, yeah. but I do, I still do the one-man gigs and the two-man with my dad, and we bring the band out of keys, and we, we were doing the, the whole day with dancing, and we still do it, mm. um, but this, the scene has just got so tight at the minute, and uh, it's, it's just, it's hard to... To keep funding to pay a, pay a band when it, if, when the numbers aren't there, it's okay yes. if if you've got maybe two three hundred people coming in. But when you're paying a band, run the van, putting singles out, Aye. working five days a week, you know. So uh, over so, so I haven't I haven't pulled the whole thing off the road. But we've been doing weddings and different stuff, you know. But when, whenever the the time is right, I'll go full swing back. I like got it, you know. Uh, it'll come, it'll come right. It'll definitely come right for you. Uh, another song, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, gonna do a wee Merle Haggard song this time. Oh, lovely. Um, it's got uh, Today I Started Loving You Again. Oh, great classic. I was, I was uh, watch a lot of stuff on YouTube and that, you know, Merle Haggard looks one of them. A legend. A legend. And uh, the Suns is doing pretty good in it. That's right. Too, you know. And, and they've been over here. Uh, what, what is it you call the Sun? Ben. Ben, um, uh, ben Haggard. There's an, I forget the other boy's name now. But they're, they're, they're very good. Like, yeah. They're very, very good. And the, the Sun is nearly identical voice to the father. Class, yes. Exactly, that's right. But uh, as I say, great music and good old songs. But when you're ready. No bother at all, thanks. Get him. 
Sing a few songs there and Sally O'Brien's and all Yes, yeah. Like it made, made more money than I did. <laughs> I used to go and sing the river, and the next thing people come up with pound coins and fivers and all, and me only a, a, a toot of a cobbler. Yeah. But, but it, as I say, everything was a step all guitars to where you're going. Interested in it. Uh, are, you, are you self taught? or? Uh, I would be self taught. Uh, well, Daddy, Daddy would have taught me a few uh, things, you know, but. Uh, I, I, like some some things I'd be playing the guitar, I couldn't tell you what where I am, what chord I'm playing. Aye. But I know it's the right chord. I, I would play a lot by ear and I play piano and a bit of drums and bass and stuff as well. But everything mostly I do would be all by ear, you know. And self taught. Well, same as dad, daddy be pretty much everything by, by ear. Like I could still read chords and read a bit of sheet music and piano and uh-huh. stuff, you know, but most of it's by my ear. Very good. That's, that's very good indeed. Right, I'll tell you what, we're going to get another song, but what I'm going to do is we took a quick ad break, give you a chance to retune and regroup. That's no bother. Are you getting an unpleasant smell around your house? You need DS Environmental. If you don't empty your septic tank regularly, your percolation area may block up and get contaminated, resulting in disease-causing bacteria that could affect you, your family, your neighbours and the environment. Prevent pollution, contamination and a costly repair bill by having your septic tank system maintained by DS DS Environmental. Call 9139522. DS Environmental. It's what we leave behind that counts. Enjoy outdoor living this summer with the Cope Shopping Centre Dunlow. At the Cope, you'll find an amazing selection of exterior paints and garden furniture, plus a perfect barbecue for outdoor dining. And if you plan to explore the great outdoors, Cope Sports have you covered with everything from bike hire to golf accessories, running gear to wetsuits. Don't forget the Cope's children play area and club bug. It's the perfect destination for little ones. The Cope Shopping Centre Dunlow. Brands you know, prices you'll love. Tinny here to remind you there's nowhere like the outdoors. To keep the wee ones busy, Tinny's Toys and Letterkenny have a great range of outdoor toys and activity sets. There's full adventure centres, pedal go-karts and tractors, electric tractors, ride-on jeeps and trampolines. See for yourself at Tinny's Toys Lack Road Drumnohoe Letterkenny or you can order online at tinnystoys.com. Down by... Listening to Paul McDevitt. Yes, John, you're very welcome back. Uh, in the studio is um, Gareth Pritchard, accompanied by his father Brian. And uh, the next, uh, oh, sorry, by the way, you, you, you gig, uh, gig in Oma and Annie's? Yeah, uh, I've started maybe over a year ago doing uh, Country Night. 
well, I call it the Nashville Country Night because my idea when I come back from Nashville, they you know they had the bucket out. Whenever the bands play, there was a bucket in the ground, and there's, obviously there's no fee. They just people put the money in the bucket for the band, you know, such. So I thought, oh. well, maybe I could maybe do something like that in Oma, but with the money, give it to a charity of some sort, you know. Uh -huh. So what we've been doing is um, the likes of we've had Al McCulkin from Mike Denver's band, my cousin Barry Carroll on the drums, yeah. um, myself playing guitar, David Key out of Cleona Higgins' band, and um, George Bracken uh, would play with myself in the band and plays with Marty Moan and so they're all musicians from different bands yeah. and then we don't get paid nothing for it we just do it for a bit of fun and we play songs you know when you're out in the dance halls and stuff you play songs you know you may like the song but yeah, not so songs I, that you might necessarily play at home you know so you play to the crowd basically like, right? whenever I do that I sing I might do some Brad Pace and stuff but the Eagles and just play about with songs and if we make mistakes or what odds you know no. uh, but it's but it's, it's been a great success. Um, where's so that, it's, where's it's, that bar? Do you know where Lidl is in Oma? As you come into Oma, if you're heading oh, for the yes, Lidl, yes. there's a wee bar just, just yes. slapped there. And, the lights there just. And they've great, oh, great stage and they've all that kind of stuff. Oh, you know, very, so, good. very good. Very um, so, good. Once a month? We, we try and do it the first Thursday of every every month, you know. Mm. Um, but I think this next one that we're doing is going to be the 28th of July. I think it's a Thursday because my Uncle Dominic's weekend's on that weekend on the birches Friday, Saturday and Sunday All right. so what happens is the Scottish ones come over maybe the day before and we kind of like to put on a bit of a show for them as well you know is that a big thing is it uh, well Dominic would, would sell out the silver birches no more than for that weekend the Scottish ones and well be ones from, from local as well you know Scottish he's doing great, like he's doing great. I always love Dominic Carroll singing uh, he's uh, a great singer oh my god something else you know uh, so that's good so it's the 28th of July as far as it's, it's a Thursday anyway I uh -huh. think it's the 28th now, uh, don't uh, and uh, do you, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, Sorry, the album will be released. It's going to, I'm putting it on the shop on my Facebook so people can purchase it through there. Very good. And we're going to get a few, a few shops as well. But I have a new single on the way. It's due in the next few weeks. It's another one I wrote. Um, it's, it's basically a workman song because I work in the building trade. Yes. And uh, it's, it's just a fun song. Um, just working days, they don't get any better for me and the boys in the Irish weather kind of stuff. You know, it's just a fun, simple ah. song. But it's one I want to tarry with and we just yeah, it about right. with it and we, we come up with something and... Belton sites are hard places, eh? Yeah, well, I, I enjoy it, you know. What do you say, I've done for 32 years and I hate this? Uh, well, <laughs> I, I enjoy the crack in the sight, you know. That's a hard one. Hang on, don't, don't mean nothing. <laughs> yeah, I say a few lows to a few ones. Of course you can. I'd like yes, to say hello to um, Shirley Aiken and her husband Ivan who's always be listening in and they follow, follow me up and down the country. Um, and uh, Freddie Howard, that's actually, he does a bit of work behind the scenes for me as well. Uh, I'd like to say hello to my, my family, mum and dad and... There's Rona and Scotland's listening to us, yes. and uh, my brothers and anybody else that supported me along the way and came to the shows and and uh, once again thanks to Highland Radio for having us. And yourself, oh, it's a pleasure, Paul. absolute pleasure. It really, really is. It'll be the first time to have you down. Very impressed. And uh, if people want to get in touch, are you, are you on a website? It seems a uh, lot of people don't seem to be going to websites. See, to the Facebook, Facebook now is Facebook and uh, social media. Twitter. Um, on my like page, on my basically music page, yes. there's a contact button, and that'll put you through to my management. Oh, so so if they, it'll bring up the number and next thing, if anybody wants to get in contact with me, wow. that's, that's the best way to get in contact, you'll get through. What a way. And uh, okay, it's, it's just simple, like I, I had a wiped website and stuff up and I still, I think it's due to return around it, but it shows you many people logs on it and then the Facebook like page, it shows you everything and it's just yes. boosting up, like it seems to be the way forward is Very good. social media and Snapchat and them kind of things as well. And uh, do, do you, you do the Twitter and stuff? Do you? I have Twitter, but I... I haven't grasped it at all, uh, I can't. Uh, I don't <laughs> grasp it, but Jimmy does it there. And, you know. uh, do, do you put videos up and, and stuff on YouTube? Yeah, well, on the, well, there's videos on YouTube, there's uh, loads of videos up, and then we'll be doing a couple of new videos for that first song I've done, don't get me wrong, there's a new video going up for hit. Aye. And then for the new song we're doing, there'll be a new video for hit as well, so uh, be professional videos. And then there's some on YouTube, just me live at gigs and different stuff, you know, so... Aye. Um, Very good. Well, so that's brilliant. Hey, well, anybody well, can contact well. me through them things as well, and we're, we're open for all occasions, weddings, dances, and you name it. We'll weddings, do it. funerals, and the whole lot of thing. <laughs> we'll go along. Well, Gareth, your last song first. The last song. I'm sort of torn between two thorns. Um, uh, Rona has asked me to do "Somebody You Love Me," 
and then I was going to do that knee deep one that's been very popular for me. So I don't know. What do you think? I'm not falling out with no woman. <laughs> you make your choice. <laughs> I'll do this one. Good lad. Might be dreaming. I might be crazy. Thinking you might love me, maybe. Poor hearts pounding. That's it there, Gareth Pritchard. Thank you very much indeed. 